Hi everyone, my name's Connor McDonald. Follow me on Twitter for information about SQL, Analytics and Ask Tom. Today is the next in our KISS series of videos, keeping it simple with SQL, focusing on analytics. These are short two minute sessions designed to help you solve real problems, not just wander through the syntax. In this session, once again, we're looking at more classical problems made simple through the use of analytics. As Einstein told us, imagination is more important than knowledge and no better place than analytics to demonstrate that. A quick recap. The last classic problem we looked at was treating a string as a set of values. We wanted to take the string 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, three distinct numbers, and convert it into a set of rows. And that's how we did it. Another classical problem is exactly the reverse of this. That is, to take a set of rows, such as you can see there, and using some sort of logical grouping, in this case department number, to concatenate all the rows into a single string. In this case, the string called members being the list of all the employee names belonging to each department. This series is about classical problems made simple. Without analytics, you can actually solve this problem. However, it makes a bit of a mockery of the term made simple. Let's look at some of the solutions that people have come up with in the past without analytics. You could use the model clause. That could be the topic of another video series. Or you could use sysconnect by path and using a hierarchical query structure. You can actually see in there there's actually the use of some analytics as well. Or you can use XML to use some transformations of the data, converting it to XML and then stripping out the XML tags to end up with your concatenated list. Or you can use the inbuilt OCI aggregation extensions. All those things can be done to derive a solution for that problem. But all those things seem pretty hard. There's a lot of syntax, a lot of complexity. That's where analytics comes in. We can use the new function called listAg, and as the name suggests, it's for aggregating stuff into a list. Here is the solution. We don't even need to build this up because the function almost sounds like what you're trying to do. I want to aggregate a list of employee names, the delimiter being comma, within the grouping defined by my group by, in this case, department number, and what determines how the list is built, we're gonna order them by employee number. The function itself almost describes the actual output. It's a wonderful function. You can run this script yourself by clicking on the live SQL link below. Did you miss it? What is the thing we've had in all of our video series that defines an analytic function in use? That is the keyword of over. But as we used listag, we introduced a new terminology within group. In the next session, we'll take a closer look at these new keywords that are still within the realm of analytics. Thanks very much for watching, and don't forget to keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.